thanks for showing up again. Appreciate it. I hope you guys are all getting something out of this. Um, as for the quarantine, I hope that everyone's spending their time productively. Uh, I know it sucks, but if you ever wanted to write a book or learn a foreign language or woodworking or anything, now's the time to do it. You don't want to look back at this time and realize you'd spent it more productively. That's about as much of a speech as I have, so let's get working. Start off with the basics, then we're going to move into some hammer grip stuff after we review the uh, basic uh, side grip attacks to the eyes. So, starting out, as always, eye spike. Chamber to your right ear, line the point of the knife up with the opponent's eye. Stab straight into the opponent's left eye here. Make sure you retract just as fast as it goes out. So we're going to take this shot, just get a couple of these in really quick. Get used to the motion, get your aim situated. Now follow this up with the palm. Palm can go to the chin, the nose, the forehead, the cheek. Personally, I like hitting the forehead to expose this artery to follow up with a strike to the carotid artery. So we're going to go one, two. Get a couple of those in. One, two. Now we're going to do five full speed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to follow this up. Instead of with an attack to the forehead, we're going to hit the shoulder here to impede any counter the opponent might be mounting. So we're going to go one, two. Get a couple of those in. Get used to the motion. One, two. Five of those in full speed. One, two, three, four, five. Now, horizontal flick. Starting with the palm facing the opponent, swipe the tip of the blade across the eye, scoring the eyeball, ending with the palm facing towards you. So the palm starts facing the opponent, ends facing you. Very little motion in the arm. Let the wrist do the work here. Get this motion in, get a few of those, get used to the mechanic here. Now we're going to follow this one up with a strike to the palm, uh, palm strike to the head. One, two, three, four, five. Now, in the horizontal, shoulder check. One, two, three. to the outside. We want to hook this to the outside in case he moves into me here. If he moves into me, the, the knife might go into him, but my blade's going to become trapped between myself and my opponent. We want to make sure as soon as we hit the target, it swipes to the outside. That way, if the opponent closes in, my blade is still free to do work here. So it's a reverse J motion. A couple of these getting used to the motion here. Now, following this up with the palm. Get five in. One, two, three, four, five. Now five with a shoulder check. One, two, three, four, five. Eye pluck. Palm is up. Comes around, hits the eye, elbow comes back to the rib, keeping the point of the knife oriented towards the opponent throughout the motion here. Don't swipe it back with your arm, because you can end up impaling yourself if the opponent moves into you. So we're going to reach out, pull it back here, point stays oriented towards the opponent throughout the entire motion. Get a couple in, get used to the motion. Now following this up with the palm here. Here. A few of these in, get used to the mechanic. 
Now follow this up with the palm. When you throw this palm, make sure putting your hip behind it, ball of your left foot, turning your shoulder and your hip into the shot. So five, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now following up, shoulder check here. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. My matting is coming undone here. Okay, so now we're just going to put together a basic combination. And turn with any of the eye attacks you want, whichever one you prefer. I like the eye spike. Palm to the forehead, throat plunk. Use the horizontal flick. Base edge, eye pluck, party gift. Anyone you want or mix them up. We're gonna do 10 full speeds. So we're gonna go one, two, and then that same eye pluck motion we did, we're just bringing that down to the carotid artery now. So one, two, three. Start off to five slow, get used to it. One, two, three. Four, five, good. So now, let's do 10, full speed, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Now, we're going to take the same combination, eye attack, palm, go into the brachial. So in the brachial, this artery here, come roughly vertical so we come across the artery. We don't want to put a hole in it, we want to sever it completely here. So we're going to go one, two, three. Five slow. One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five. So now we do ten full speed. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two opening motions. This time we're going to flank over here, turn the blade horizontal, go between the ribs and into the lung. So in this scenario, we're attacking the face, we're assuming the opponent's brought his hands up high to cover, exposing this lung. So moving to the outside, bringing my arm between myself and the opponent. So I have a barrier. In case he moves into me, I can brace against him. Here, bring the blade parallel to the ground, going into the lung. Five slow. One. Make sure you're getting this side step. Move with the right leg first. Drag the back leg here. Extending our base as we move, widening our base, not narrowing it. Never want to bring your feet together and move. Compromises your balance. When you're moving, widen your base. So five slow. One. Two. Three. Four, five. So now, ten full speed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. So now, last one. Attack the right brachial artery. 
check that same spot. One, two, ice spike. So do this a few times slow. Be a five and slow. One, two, three, four, five. So now, ten, full speed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now, we're going to move into hammer grip. So the important thing with hammer grip, some people disagree with me, that's fine. This is just my opinion. Never run your thumb along the back of the knife. It produces a very weak grip. It's very easy to lose the knife when you start sparring in this grip. Wrap your thumb around it here. So, attacking the eyes. First what we're going to do, vertical slash. Just coming straight down the opponent's face here. Okay. Let's do 10 slow, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now follow this up with the palm, just like we did in side grip. 10 slow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now, 10 full speed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now, let's get five in with the shoulder blast. This a couple times, get used to the motion. Five, full speed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So now, horizontal slash. Coming across the eyes here. Come straight across the eyes, or we can come just above the eyes. Okay, the forehead get into blood running into the eyes. It's important when you do this, don't swing this too wide here. Bring it almost straight in and just across the forehead. Or across the eyes. Ten slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Check your thumb position, make sure it's not along the spine of the blade. I'm going to say that a lot because people have a tendency to want to gravitate back to this. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So now, follow it up with the palm. Ten slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now ten full speed, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's follow up with five, going to the right shoulder. Couple slow, get used to the motion. Five, full speed, ready? One, two, three, four, five. So now, eye pluck. So the same kind of plucking motion we did in the side grip here. We're gonna do this in a hammer grip. I don't particularly like slashing here or slashing here. If you look at this, my hand is actually going past the target before the blade hits it. So I'm actually sacrificing reach. If this hand comes up here, he may stop my shot before it lands. But if I'm following the same line, but I'm going point first, if he stops in the same spot, you'll see the, my, the tip of my blade is still getting to the target. If you're throwing these shots with powers a lot, a power, a lot of times if their hand comes up, you can actually just collapse their defense, come through and still hit the target. So I very rarely will slash from the outside here. I prefer to lead in with the point. So with this one, we're gonna move in here. Just like in the other grip, we're gonna pull the elbow back to the ribs here, make sure we're not hooking the blade towards ourselves. So 10 slow, ready? One, check your thumb position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now following up the palm. Ten slow, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fast, right? Ready? One, two, three. 
slashing to the throat. One of the things that I found is trying to come straight across the throat here is actually a very difficult cut to aim accurately. Because you get this very narrow window between the jaw and the shoulder. So if I'm coming through here, it's very easy to counter the opponent's shoulder or hit the jaw up here and not get a clean cut across the neck in a perfectly horizontal line. So what I like to do is what we call the V, which means when I attack the right carotid artery, I'm coming down here. So there's a sort of V shape between the head and the shoulder. I'm showing it on this side, but the application will be over here. Where I'm coming through here, and I'm following this line. So I'm not hitting the jaw or the shoulder. I have a nice, clean slash going straight through here. If your range or aim is slightly off, this V will actually funnel the shot either down the face and into the throat or along the shoulder and into the throat. So um, it actually compensates for lack of accuracy. So coming through, and it's important as you do this, try not to start over here and swipe through the target. With a sword or a heavy blade, you're gonna, probably going to have to get a little wind up in. With a small knife, try and shoot it as straight in as possible. If I'm bringing it too far over and it closes on me, my uh, arm can get trapped up here. So I want to make sure my blade's in front of myself here. So if he does close in, he's closing in on the blade and not my forearm. Try and shoot almost straight in and then rip across the artery, the diagonal motion here. So 10 slow, right? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now, slash, palm, ten slow. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, full speed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. So now five, going to the shoulder in here. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So now coming to the left carotid artery. So this is the other half of the V. This time we're coming up. So the right, we come down, left, come up. Try not to swing this up too high. Just cutting through the target here. One. Follow the line of the jaw, straight up. Ten slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Check your thumb position. Eight. Nine, ten. So now ten with the palm. One, slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. A ten, full speed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, five with shoulder blasts. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, so last 
last one we gotta do the throat is um, reverse trinity. Trinity is a stab that comes across the neck, severs both arteries and the windpipe in one stab. Usually it's done to point down grip when the opponent's angled um, perpendicular to us to go through here. When we do this in hammer grip, it's when the opponent's straight in front of us, create as much of a right angle as possible between my hand and the blade. Just come straight across into the throat and hit all three targets, one stab. If you really want to be a dick about it, you can do this in reverse grip here. Stab through the target, then rip out here, making sure that you're stopping it before you bring the edge into yourself. That's a little more advanced. Let's not get too deep into that today. Let's just go hammer grip, horizontal, straight across the neck. 10 slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now ten, full speed. Ready? One, two, check your thumb position. Three, four, five, six, Slash. Doing this funnel, the right side of the V coming down here. Check the shoulder to impede the counter. I pluck. So we're going to go one, two, three. It's ten slow. Ready? One. Super slow. Get a feel for the motion. Two. Three. Four. Severing the left carotid artery, following that up with the palm. So what we want to do with this palm, we're making sure the opponent's body blow, bows back because we're going to attack the femoral, assuming the opponent's right leg is out front. So moving in here, if I hit this shot, this keeps his back straight, which means he can't bend down to defend against this femoral shot. So essentially, it's a free shot. It just all depends on your accuracy. So we come up here, we hit with the palm, disorients him. Momentarily blinds him, but also keeps him up straight. So I can dip down low, femoral on the inside of the thigh. So we're going to do 10 of these slow. Ready? One. One, two, three. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six.
let's call it there for today. Uh, thank you, everyone, as always, for joining me. If anyone did happen to get a screen recording of this, please send it my way so I can get it uploaded for uh, anyone who couldn't join us tonight. Beyond that, stay safe, stay healthy out there, and we'll do this next week.